Hello, everyone, and welcome to another session of Built and Deployed. My name is Henri Viano. I'm part of the Oracle ISV Cloud Engineering Organization. And with me here today from Gadget Software, I have Matt Goldenson. Hello, Matt. Hello, Henri. Glad to be here. Hey, Greg. Uh, Matt, could you take uh, maybe a moment and tell us a little bit about uh, perhaps your, uh, your, your role within uh, you know, Gadget Software, what you do, what your company does, and, and how you serve your customers today? Sure. So um, let's start briefly with uh, my role. Um, I am uh, technically the head of architecture. Um, I also run the infrastructure team, and we're really responsible for supporting the core products and the platforms that those products run on. Um, our company is in the business of taking documents and then creating what we refer to a as an advanced document experience, which allows um, users to uh, avail um, themselves to a more fluid and flexible small screen um, format of a normal eight and a half by 11 page. Great, um, obviously you've been running on the Oracle Cloud for some time. So we'd like to let it learn a little bit more about the, compo the components of your solution and how those are deployed in the Oracle Cloud. Could you take a moment to perhaps walk us through the architecture diagram that we have in front of us here and perhaps let us know a little bit about, uh, you know, the ACE cluster node, the document management, uh, you know, component and, uh, and the data tier. So the ACE cluster node is primarily our ingestion process tool that our content engineering team uses to take people's documents and then transform them, as it were, into the kind of information that's stored in the core product. So it's a tool that's primarily um, Python based. There's some significant data analysis and AI and some ML involved in this process. When we um, take a look at documents to try and gather information about the documents themselves. And then we break that into pieces, which we then can present in formats that make a little more sense for small screens, as well as for industrial users, other types of users who may wanna associate the rich set of experiences beyond just the paper themselves with those documents. Now, you guys being a software as a service company with multi-tenancy uh, implemented within your solution, I'm just curious about how you guys have leveraged the cloud to scale uh, perhaps your, your ingestion engine to support many users. You guys are a business-to-business -business software provider. Many companies and many users in those companies are uploading documents, perhaps. So I'm just curious about what you guys have devised as part of the plan to scale to a large number of, uh, of uh, companies and users. Sure. So one of the things that we determined really quickly, or you know, from my personal experience, is that one of the major advantages of being cloud-based is the ease with which we can stand up new products. So we, it, we, because we don't have a physical environment to support, I'm literally not racking machines, hardware, or anything along those lines. I can build a development environment and then run it through a QA process in vastly shorter amounts of times. So what it means is from conception through delivery, we're dealing with um, an experience that's dramatically impacted by um, overall deployment times um, in a positive way, number one. Number two is we've focused on some core technologies that have really allowed us to leverage those, um, the collection of, of software and, and tools that um, a cloud vendor can provide. For an example of that being is by utilizing the database components that Oracle provides, we really do not have to worry about a lot of the database administration um, tasks that are normally associated with databases. All right, looking more into your diagram here, Matt, I, I see that you guys have a management tier. Could you tell us a little bit about how uh, you've leveraged, uh, you know, capabilities in the cloud to manage, operate, monitor, uh, you know, the, the services that you deploy in the cloud? So one of the advantages that we've um, run into with Oracle is that the it's the tool suite that allows us to manage, manage and uh, monitor our production environment 
Um, so we are literally doing more with less. Uh, we spend less time in researching and developing, deploying, and more time in terms of looking at the overall health of the product as it runs in other areas and the management isolation allows it, us to do it with fewer people. That's great. I imagine that's true for uh, you know managing the Kubernetes and, and the database tier as well. Um, so that's great. To, that's great to hear that you see value there as well. A um, absolutely. So instead of my team being responsible for writing management scripts for the relational database environment, we are able to isolate that to the tools we provided by you know Oracle. That's great. Now knowing that you guys are a SaaS multi-tenanted solution. How do you guys, uh, you know, plan for scalability and and uh, essentially the ability to grow your environment as more users and companies uh, join your uh, your sub subscribe to your service? One of the things that we get as a result of all of this is the ability to um, stand up different repositories, respective um, or as they're related to customers. So it gives us ability to um, both isolate from a physical and a design architecture, um, multiple customers, as well as scale as the size of those customers themselves may vary. So for some customers, they may warrant their own actual database instance. Other ones can share database instances as necessary. Now, looking forward into your future plans, Matt, um, what would you say are our are, are next steps for you from an architecture and infrastructure perspective, perhaps OCI cloud services uh, and, and so forth? So given the success we've had at moving the ACE production platform in, into Oracle, we're now um, migrating our core content um, and core engine into the Oracle platform as well. So we've started by moving all of our development um, onto Oracle. Um, our development environment now consists of two locations and we're supporting both of those within the Oracle cloud environment. That's great. I see that you're, uh, on, you know, taking on the, the Kubernetes platform. Could you talk a little bit about the value of that platform and anything else you guys have seen as differentiated perhaps from an OCI cloud perspective? So let's talk quickly about the Kubernetes piece. One of the things that Kubernetes allows us to do is scale on demand. So literally what we can do is we can increase the, both scale up our demand as we have perhaps more mobile customers for a particular customer signing onto the platform in different locations. We can expand our compute and presentation capacity as needed to support them and then scale that back when that's no longer necessary. So there's a desktop component, there's multiple components to the core engine. And again, each of those managed in a Kubernetes environment will be able to scale independently as need grows and then contracts. That's great. From a high availability and business continuity perspective, what have you found the cloud to offer you to achieve that, uh, that objective, Matt? Again, this is one of the values of Kubernetes itself as a platform by allowing um, the, the just simply the design of Kubernetes allows us to set the minimum number of concurrent processes that are running. So from an availability perspective, we can say, for example, this module or this service um, has a requirement uh, that the following that it's running on um, in duplicate form in at least three separate locations. And that's merely a specification at this point um, through Kubernetes. So that's the value that, again, that we get through cloud environments. That's great. Um, I imagine, you know, obviously business continuity is, is very important to you guys. And that's certainly how, you know, our cloud, uh, cloud offers the, you know, the, the multi-region, multi-availability domain, even within a region to achieve that. Uh, very, very important for, uh, ISV and software companies and SaaS companies like yourselves. Um, could you take uh, maybe a minute to share your experience of how you know you work with the Oracle team and what value you found in, in the Oracle Cloud services itself, or perhaps the cloud architects uh, that you worked with so far to implement this? Sure. So one of the things that sort of differentiated Oracle is that 
we've really had attention paid to us as a company and the issues that we face from a deployment perspective that's unique to other things. So for example, um, in other, with, other, with other vendors, we, we're just a small company and Oracle has really differentiated itself by focusing on what our actual needs were and helping us address those production and design issues at the same time as we move forward with deployment and development. So really sort of from the design completely through the production phase, you guys have been there in a way that's been really helpful and valuable. All right, Matt, this has been very educational. Thank you so much for participating with us today and spending time walking through the architecture that you guys have deployed on Oracle. Glad to see that you guys are deriving great value from your uh, you know, cloud investment and looking forward to our next session, perhaps in the future uh, soon. Thank you so much and we'll talk later. Thank you.